classic one of quote sulfur amino acids is eggs. Eggs, yeah, that my eggs are are quite high in the sulfur amino acids, which are methionine cysteine, and cysteine. You know. uh, but all animal products are are adequate in them, um, and and basically all plant pro products are pretty low in them. Cattle, ruminant animals, are a very important part of the food chain because of their stomach, which is full of bacteria. One of the things to think about for, for um, essential amino acids is really the only place they come from in life is bacteria. Our primary source of them in nature is the bacteria on roots of plants. So the bacteria on the roots will take the nitrogen. Why do we fertilize our garden is nitrogen. The, the bacteria will take that inorganic nitrogen and form organic amines with it. But, and those organic amines then can be made into, plant, into proteins in the plants. The problem with plants is that they don't have the same balance as we need. They have the plants to make roots and tree, you know, limbs and roots and flowers and things like that. The beauty of a ruminant is they can take that plant and they can digest it and the bacteria then will rebalance all of the amino acids They'll capture inorganic nitrogen and they make the essential amino acids that mammals need and they concentrate it for us. So basically humans, one of the arguments is humans evolved by being able to use more concentrated protein. You know, if we just ate, you know, if we just ate plants, it's hard to get enough. Basically for, for every 60 grams of, of protein an animal eat, they'll make 100 grams of, of essential amino acid, you know, balanced protein. So ruminants are called upcyclers. So whether it's in dairy or meats or, you know, also, you know, goats and, and sheep and, and, and deer, all of those ruminant animals upcycle. By eating grasses, they produce great quality protein. No other animal can do that. They're making protein out of nitrogen. That's right, that's what I was gonna say. So they're, so they're getting the yeah. nitrogen from so, the fertilizer that went into exactly. the grass. And not quite. They're getting nitrogen that's inorganic in the plants, but it's not actually in protein forms. Yep. Okay. And so it's in the fibers and other kinds of things. So they're able to upcycle that. They're able to increase the value of non-amino acid nitrogen, plus they capture all of those other nitrogens. The bacteria, if you look at the flora uh, in the cow, they have certain bacteria that will produce methionine or lysine. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.